On September 15, 2023, around 1.20 a.m., Officer Brock from the Pullman Police Department observed a 2017 Kia Sportage driving erratically, making multiple turns without signaling. To ensure safety, Officer Brock activated his emergency lights and pulled the vehicle over in a nearby parking lot. The driver was later identified as Marie Quigley, a 19-year-old female. After the officer made contact with the woman, he detected the odor of alcohol and noticed that her eyes were watery and bloodshot. The officer also explained to the woman the reason for pulling her over. The reason you're being stopped was a few things. So, when you turned onto California Street, okay. you didn't use your turn signal. Then you almost hit a curb. Then you made a left-hand turn here onto A Street, again not using your turn signal. Okay, I'm Were sorry. Were you just distracted by something? I just, I'm sorry, I usually... Okay. We're here... Uh, okay. Frequently, so okay. Um, I see you have blood coming down your hand. What's going on with that? Oh, that's a Are you personal okay? reason. Yeah. Are you Sorry. okay? I'm fine. All right. Did you cut yourself? Yep. How long ago? I don't really think that's any of your business. I'm sorry. All right. I'm just concerned. No, that's fine. No, I'm just here to. Okay. Do That's... you have your driver's license with you? I do. The officer asked Mairead for her driver's license, registration, and insurance for further investigation. However, she could only provide the registration of her car and was unable to provide the other information that the officer had requested. I don't have my wallet with me, actually. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you have your registration and insurance for the car? Is, well, that... In one direction! Hello? Yep. Where do you... What do you mean? I need you to focus on the task at hand. Your phone call is not the okay, priority. Okay, sorry, I gotta go. I'm sorry, bro. What's up? I need your registration insurance for the okay. vehicle. How old are you? 19. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my recent insurance. I got a new car last year. Okay. This is here. And I think this is my... Uh, this talks about warranties and all sorts of things. Is this not the so right? that, No, that one is not. This one's your registration. Okay. You're looking for an insurance card. Insurance, okay. I think that's on my app. What do you, okay. Is your last name Quigley? Yes. Okay. Oh, I was going to say. What's your first name? Mairead. How do you spell it? M-A-I-R-E-A-D. M-I, oh, sorry. Insurance. That's different than I'm used to. M-A-I. R-E-A-D. R-E-A-D. D? Yep. What state is your driver's license here? Washington. What's your address here in Pullman? Uh, in Pullman? Mm-hmm. Okay, Marie, can you come talk to me outside the car, please? The officer requested the woman to exit her vehicle for further investigation. She complied, stepping out of her car. But when the officer asked her about the amount of alcohol she had consumed that night, she appeared unwilling to answer any of his questions. Okay, Marie, can you come talk to me outside the car, please? because I'm instructing you to step out of your vehicle. Is there a reason why? It's a lawful order. You have to step out of your vehicle, ma'am. Is there a reason? Is it a lawful order? Yes, ma'am. Step out of your vehicle. Can you come back here? I'm kind of concerned about how much alcohol you've had to drink tonight, plus okay. your driving. Would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety tests? Is that a voluntary thing? Correct. They're voluntary. So, if I say no, what is that? Do? Then I have to make my decision based on the observations to this point. Which is, like, based on what? Your poor driving. Poor strong. driving based on what? Me not putting my blinker? Not using your blinker. Nearly striking the curb. When you pulled into this parking lot instead of just coming to a stop, we went through all of these cars and then came back here. Well, this is where I was pulling into you just have to say yes or no, you want to do the test. What, what do I do if I say no? What that doesn't, happens if I say no? Then I have to make my decision based on the observations I've seen at this point. Which is what? I've just... Can you be honest with me? Yeah. If I say no, like, what happens beyond that? If I believe that you're... I'm, like, just genuinely, like, scared of, like, what's going on here. Like, I've, I, I've seen too many videos, and I'm fucking mm -hmm. scared. That I don't, okay. like, trust you guys, so, like, what's okay. going on beyond that? I'm here. So, I think you're intoxicated. 
Based on the officer's suspicion that Marie might be impaired, he offered her the chance to participate in field sobriety exercises. However, she refused to cooperate and declined to complete any of the exercises. The officer decided to place Marie under arrest for driving under the influence. This decision was based on her erratic driving behavior and the various indicators of impairment he had observed. I think you're intoxicated. At this time, you are under arrest. Please your hands behind your back. Wait, no. No, don't no. tense up. Don't no. tense up. Relax. No. Relax. What the fuck? She has dry like blood on your hand. Yo, 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 please. No one will walk up to this. Otherwise, they will be detained. What do you mean I'm under relax. arrest? Relax. Relax. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. You're I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. DUI. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Get him to get my car at least, Joey. You have the right at this time to talk to an attorney and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you without cost if you so desire. Tell you him to decide. get my car at least, Joey. You can decide at any time. He's in there! Tell him to get my car at least. Not to make any statements or answer We're going to walk to the rear of my patrol car. Do you have anything on you that would stick or stab me, like a pocket knife, needles, something of that sort? Nope. Okay. Do you have pockets on your skirt? No. Or are these shorts? No. Okay. Can I at least have my relax. phone? Relax, please. Please relax. Fighting this is not going to change anything. I need you to relax, okay? Have a seat. Would you, you like medics me to come look at your wrist? No. Okay. Can you just, why are you arresting me? You are under arrest for operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol to the point that it's impaired your drink. Once Marie was placed in the patrol car, her boyfriend approached the officer and inquired about the details of her arrest. The officer informed him that Marie would likely be released in approximately six hours. Appreciate you guys not walking up. Yep. Uh, what questions can I answer? I can't answer I'm, all of them. I'm but... her boyfriend. Yep. Can I, can I just ask what's happening? She is under arrest for DUI. She's highly intoxicated. I told her not to And drive. she's I driving her, her I told her I would walk there and I got a call saying that she was talking on her way. way. What are the next steps for us uh, to she'll go? She'll be with me for about the next six hours. As, as her boyfriend, what can I do? Nothing really. We're going to make sure that her phone goes with her, so when she's so should released... I, should I contact her parents? Should I... I, should I, I, I wouldn't. That's a way... Just, just let that, it that'd be her just, That'd be her choice. What about a vehicle? We're just going to walk it up here. Just, just leave it here. Just leave yep. it here. Yep. Uh, okay. Is it on right now? Yeah. yeah. Can, Don't can worry about it. We'll take care of it. turn it off, please? Yes. Okay. We're going to lock it. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. She'll give you a call when she has an opportunity. Can I can I tell you something and, and not? I'm know, recording. No, I know. I, if you're so. recording, whatever, <laughs> but not make it obvious to her. Sure. This night has been very rough for her, and the reason she came over here and I told her not to. I said I will walk to your house, and I don't know why she didn't listen. And I, but she's just not in a good place yeah. right now. So if you keep that in mind, I would yeah. really, so really. Yeah. Where the really, cutting is coming from and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Is she, is she bleeding right now? She told me she was cutting herself tonight. It's uh, dried, so it's not yeah. like so, actively I mean, bleeding. But please keep yeah. an We'll eye continue on that. to talk to her about it and try to get her resources. And we'll get her medics too right. if she needs it. Yeah, thank right you, now she just doesn't want that. So, Okay. All right. I know it's a lot of information to process I'm, in the I'm, moment. I'm not, I'm not seeing it, but I understand, but I just, I, I, just hope you, I just want you guys to know that she's not there mentally on her yeah. And she's honest. I could tell by the way she's talking to you guys. She's drunk and not there. Yeah. So, yeah. I appreciate it. it. Okay. Please. All right. Please. You said they're going to be about six hours with her. Yep. And then we're finding a way to go Did you find her. a cell so, phone? So, so in the morning, in the morning. Do you want him to look for it in the car? In the morning, should I come to the, the police station and pick her up? Um. So how about this? She wants you to find her cell phone to make sure it goes with her. Do in you mind car, looking in the, in the car? car? Yeah. Yep. You know what it looks like. Yeah. Grab her cell phone. And then, yes, she'll be able to give you a call. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep, we'll make sure this goes with her. Cool. Thank you. So, uh, yes, yes. In the morning, in the morning, should I should I come to the police station and 
if that's what she wants. And pick her up. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're sober. And and will will she be able to call me in the morning to tell me? Yeah. That, when she or? gets released, she'll have her cell phone. She'll be able to call. Okay. And, and she'll be released at the si- like in six hours or in the morning. Yes, as long as she doesn't have a prior DUI. If she had okay. a prior DUI or warrants for arrest, then she'd have to go to jail. I know she doesn't. So. Okay. okay. Yep. After this, the officer returned to his patrol car and transported Marie to the Pullman Police Department for further processing. Can I get out? Yep. All right. Stand to the right of the door so I can get the next door for you. We're going to go up to that brown chair in front of you. Well, I don't want you to stand in it, but you can have some. Can you take these off, please? Can I have my phone? No. Why? Because that's not part of the process. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right this time to an attorney. Anything you can say or you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. You can afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Got to say yes or no. Yep. Upon arriving at the police department, the officer initiated further processing by reading May Reed her constitutional rights and presenting her with the necessary legal documents. However, May Reed's behavior was notably disrespectful and she displayed a rude and confrontational attitude towards the officer throughout this whole process. Do you have anything in your mouth? No, no gum, what do you piercings. Mean by that? I'm going to answer your question here. What that does is for the next 15 minutes you can't put anything inside your mouth. If there was residual alcohol in your mouth, it gives it time to evaporate. Again, do you have anything in your mouth? No. Can you open your mouth and lift up your tongue, please? What? Can you open your mouth and lift up your tongue, please? Like this. Thank you. I have read or had read to me the above statement. Just need to say yes or no. Yep. Do you uh, get a commission off of this? Nope. Just get paid my normal amount that I get paid every single night. Will you now submit to a breath test? Yes or no? Uh, if I say no, then what? Then I mark the no box. And then what? We'll continue with the process. Which is what, though? So, if you say yes, we do the test, the machine here. Right. And then all these things that we just read over apply. If you say no, then we don't do the test, and all the things we just read over apply. Would you like me to read them to you again? Okay. If I say no, then what? Can you just be straight up, yes, like, if I say yes, then, then this? If, if, if you, I say no, then this. If you mark no, then you're saying you don't want to do the test, and I okay. mark it as a refusal, and okay. I continue with the packet of papers. Which is what? It's question and answer section. I fill out paperwork. Because you have some questions about this document that I'm not allowed to interpret, would you like to talk to an attorney who can better explain it to you? Is there one here right well, now? We go in that room right there. Because I really them. don't want. To... Okay, how? I don't want to be here for the rest of the night. I'm fucking Re- cold. Regardless if you provide a sample or not, you're gonna be here for the majority of the evening. Are you fucking kidding me? Not one bit. You're under the age of 21. You've consumed a fair amount of alcohol to the point that you're impaired, that? based on my observations. Based on your observations. So, if I say no, then what? If I say if I say yes, then what? If you say yes, then we do the two samples, just as I described in this document. If you say no, I mark it as a refusal, and I continue with the paperwork. And if you mark it as a refusal, then what? Then it can be used in a criminal trial. Why don't I just read this document again? Because you have questions about exactly no, what we said. No, I heard what you said, but I want to hear like a... If I say yes, this. If I say no, that. Exactly what I just asked, right? So, if you provide a breath, we're going to do the machine. After that, you're going to go in that holding cell for up to six hours. If you mark, no, that you don't want to do the breath, 
you're going to go in that cell for up to six hours. Same result. The difference is what the Department of Licensing does with your driver's license. Which is what? I'm going to reread this document nope. because Can it you explains just tell it. Me, please? I'm not allowed to interpret this. I have to follow the rules, right? So, warning, you're under arrest for. Would you like one to read along? Would that be helpful? Just read it to me. Okay. So, you're under arrest for RCW 4661502. You refuse A. Your driver's license, permit, or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year. Okay, so if I refuse, and then if I fail, what, it'll be revoked for a year? So, That's yep. not up for inter interpretation. Like, yep. can you say yes or no to yep. that? Correct. Your license could be taken away for a year. Could be or will be? The wording right here says... Your privilege to drive will be revoked Thank or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year. And B, your refusal to submit to this test will be used in a criminal trial. What do I have to do to just breathalyze this and leave? I don't want to fucking be here. Like, is there any way I can just be like, boom, whatever, you take my fucking license away and I go, please. I, I literally just don't want so, to be here. My plan? is as long as you don't have any warrants for your arrest and you don't have a prior DUI, then I'm not no. booking you into the county jail. Just please, like... Okay. All right, so we'll go back to the question. Will you now I'm submit fine. to just a breath go, test? That's fine. I just okay. want to... I just want to go, okay? Right. Like, what's the soonest I can get out of here? Please, I don't want to... <laughs> so the soonest you can get out of here is probably about 4 a.m. It's 2 a.m. right now. That's two hours. You could be here up to six. That's the longest you're allowed to be here. I know, but who's going to pick me up at fucking 4 a.m.? Nobody. Your boyfriend. I spoke with him. Yeah, no, he's not going to be awake. No, that he, hour. He said he's waiting for your phone call so he can come and pick you up. He said he's sober. He can come pick you up. Can we just get this fucking over with, please? I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. The next section is a question and answer section. Some of these questions are going to sound silly or redundant. I just have to ask them the same. Do you have any physical impairments? Please put your feet down. I wouldn't come to your house and put my feet on yours. Please put your feet down. No. Okay. Do you limp? Do I limp? Yes, ma'am. No. Are you sick or injured? At the moment, sure, no. Sorry, that's no. two, two answers. Okay. Are you under the care of a doctor or dentist? Isn't everyone under the care of a I dentist? Know. I right? think they mean more like my you got a procedure a like coming up or something. Nope. I don't know. My mom's a dentist. I don't know. I'm always under the care of a okay. dentist. Are you diabetic or epileptic? No. Do you take insulin? No. Have you taken any medicines or drugs in the last 24 hours? No. Any prescription medications? No. Non-prescription medications? No. Those ones don't apply then. Have you had any cocaine? No. Nope. Any marijuana? No. Nope. Any other drugs? Do you have impaired vision? Nope. Do you wear corrective lenses? No. Were you wearing them at the time no. you were stopped? Obviously not. Obviously not. But I gotta ask questions. Um how many hours of sleep did you get last night? I don't know. Do you count the hours of sleep? Yeah. Sleep you get night? Do you yeah, I got about seven and a half. I I don't know, I probably fell asleep at like one. I woke up at like 9.30, so, I don't know, eight and a half hours, right? Okay, sure. Do you think? Uh, were you driving the vehicle? Nope. That's odd. It was a ghost. It wasn't me, huh? Okay. Anything mechanically wrong with the vehicle? No. Um, my tire pressure is off, they say. Okay. Sure. Sure. Not bad. All right. But now. yes, I was driving the vehicle. Sorry, I was making a joke. Of course I was. Okay. I appreciate that. Like, obviously. Have you been injured or involved in any collisions last 24 hours? No. Have you had any alcohol to drink since being stopped, meaning me pulling you over? No. What do you mean? Pulling me Since you've been handcuffed me, how, how slick do you think I am? Some people obviously say yes. Obviously not. Some people say yes. Obviously not. Okay. Where were you going before I stopped you? Um, you know. I don't. 
right there where you pulled me over. Okay. And you're heading to the parking lot? Yep. On A Street? Yep. Okay. Without looking, what time do you think it is? Very specific. What time is it right now? It is currently 156. Is it really? Damn. Where'd you start driving from? Uh, Nanya. Is that an option? I can I can ride down if you want. The retreat. I just don't. Why is that any of their business? Like I said, I just have to fill out the paper. Um, do you recall what time you started driving? Mm -hmm. Ten minutes like before I stopped you. Probably. What day of the week is it? Thursday. What city slash county are you in now? Coleman. Oh, crazy, huh? I'm in county nine nine one six three, huh? It's good. A lot of people don't know the county. What's today's date? Nine fourteen twenty three. Good thing I know, because I go to class every day, huh? Have you been drinking alcoholic beverages? I don't know. Question, well, you'll have to see for yourself. No. Okay. Okay, if I say no, then what? If I say yes, then what? No, then I just mark down your answer. This is not to trick you or anything. I just record your answer. Okay. Uh, what have you been drinking? None yet. None. I don't know how to spell it. None. None. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 You got it. How much did you have to drink? I. I have no idea. I thought I was fine. We were drinking at our friend's house earlier, and we all walked back. And then I went to get get my boyfriend. I thought I was fine, but. Okay. Uh, what I time did you start drinking? I have no idea. Nanya. Alright, no idea. It's easier to write down. Um, who have you been drinking with? What? Who have you been drinking who? with? Who? You want me to list like all like the 20 names of people I've been I can write with? friends. Friends. It's a little easier. Yep. Do you believe your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol and or drug use? No. Okay. Have you been arrested for DUI before? Nope. I understand that. Do you? Nobody wants to be here. It's, it's not a pleasant thing. First name is Pounce Maraid, correct? Sure. I've never met anyone with that name before. No? Is it like a family name or something? How do you care? I'm just trying to make small talk. What, as you're addressing me? No, it's an Irish name. Thanks for asking. I just want to go. While being processed, Mayreed became emotional, shedding tears, and pleading with the officer to allow her to go home, but the officer continued with the procedure. He then instructed Mayreed on the breathalyzer test, and she completed the first of the two required breathalyzer tests. Okay. 
So this machine's going to think for the next couple minutes, do all of its internal checks. When it's time to do your sample, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to stand up. Can I just go home, please? No, at the moment. I know, but after this, please, just I give will, me a bucket to get me. And if I do, just let me go home. I will do my best. Don't want to be. Please listen to the instructions. I'm going to put this into the breath nozzle. When I tell you, you're going to stand up, you're going to take a deep breath so your lungs can't hold any more air. Then you're going to blow steady through this tube until all the air is gone. Yeah, my it's gonna, mom makes me used to do it. Wait, do you do breathalyzers? Yep. Oh. Um, it might be a little different. It's still thinking. You can sit if you want. I um, It's going to take about 10 second sample. It's probably longer than you're accustomed to. And blow out. Blow, 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 blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're about halfway. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And stop. Have a seat. That's going to think for just a couple minutes. We'll do it one more time. Okay, and then I can take the handcuffs off. Can, I, can you please just like, after, just give me a ticket and let me go, please. I don't want to be. Okay, have a seat. We're almost through this part. No, I know. I just really don't want to be here, please. I fully understand. Have you ever been here in no. this position? No, you don't. I wouldn't be allowed to be a police officer. Exactly. You don't know what it feels like. So don't say you know because you no, don't. No, I understand you don't want to be here is what I'm saying. You, but to an extent, you, you don't understand because you've never been in this seat before with your fucking hands cuffed behind your back. Mm -hmm. I just want to go home. And I don't care. Like, at this point, like, whatever happens, I just want to go home. There's no point in fucking holding me here. Just drive me home, please. <laughs> 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 My dad's gonna be so What was your question, sir? What is it? What is what? You didn't ask me a question. The number! I just blew! No, we gotta do two. So it does one, and now it's doing a sec. It's gonna wait here in a second. It's cleaning out all of the breath you provide. We do a second one. Then it prints off a result sheet. I just wanna go home, please. I'm really cold. <laughs> The officer was focused on his duty and tried to ignore the woman's pleas. Marie continued to beg for just a ticket and repeatedly expressed her desire to go home while shedding tears. It was evident that Marie was overwhelmed with guilt and this emotional burden led her to burst into tears. She went through with the second breath test as required. What do you want? <laughs> we have to do the second one and then it's done. You... Okay. Take your deep breath in. Fuck you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take your deep breath in, please. Oh We're almost I'm sorry. done. Okay. okay, and blow out. Blow, 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 blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you unsealed your lips, so the air didn't go through it. Fuck. Take your deep breath in. As soon as you provide the sample, I can get the handcuffs on. Blow out. Blow, 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 Keep going, 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 keep going. Almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. That was my body camera. That was the machine. Is it fine, though? It's going to tell me here in a second. After the breath test, the officer kept his promise and took off Marie's handcuffs. He then had a serious talk with her. He told her that she was acting like a child and not realizing how serious her actions were.
He explained that driving under the influence is dangerous and could harm other people on the road, but thankfully nothing bad happened this time. Me? Like, I don't want to do it? What do you mean? Listen to me. I just said the words. I'm going to take your handcuffs off. I thought you said take your handcuffs off. Like, I don't want to fucking do it. Have a seat. I right will. there. Sit down. I don't think you really understand the gravity of the situation right now. The way you're behaving is childish. I understand that. But you decided to drive intoxicated tonight through the streets of Pullman, where there's hundreds of people walking around. Thank God you didn't hit anyone. Your result sheets are going to print off in a minute. After that, we're going to review it together. After that, you're going to be placed in a cell where you will remain until you are released. Until when? Can't tell you when. It'll be within six hours. I will get you a blanket, and you'll stay there. In the meantime, I need you to take off all your jewelry, place it inside this box. A little later, the officer shared the results of Marie's breathalyzer test. Her blood alcohol level was 0.179% which is eight times higher than the legal limit for someone under 21 years of age. While you're doing that, I'm going to review your result sheets here. Your first sample tested at a 195 and a 206. Your second sample is a 179 and 188. Twice the legal limit, about eight times the legal limit for a minor such as you. I already have asked you twice, but I'll ask you a third time. Would you like medics to come check on your wrist? No. Okay. So, Part of my job is to determine when people need to go to the hospital because they're a danger to That's themselves. Fine. So I have to ask you some That's questions. Fine. I understand that, but I still yes, have to ask yes, you. Yes, 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 I'm fine. Well, my first question was, are you going to harm yourself? And you just said no. yes. What am I going to harm myself with in this cell? Well, that's why you're, you're taking hours, off all right? the stuff. Right, right? So, but when you get no. released. Is that any of your business, really? You just want to pull me over, right? So, no. Well, thankfully, I pulled you over before you ran someone over. You're twice the legal limit for an adult. Well, good thing you, I got in that parking lot and I wasn't going to drive. So. Better choice would have never been to drive in the first place. Right. No, you're right. I thought it was fine, though, so. You'll have to take off your necklace as well. Take your shoes off and place them in the bin, please. After completing all the necessary processing, the officer provided Marie with a blanket and placed her in a cell for a few hours. However, before entering the cell, Marie argued with the officer and even used offensive language towards the officer. There's a blanket for you. Please come with me. I'll be back with you in a couple hours. No? Back with what you. is that about? I uh, thought that was like, I can make a call. TV. That's if you're booked into jail. You don't want to be booked into jail. What? I can't make one call? No, it's a TV thing. This is a holding facility, it's not a jail. Okay, but what? I can't... Get in the cell. <gasps> what? I can't make a call nope. to anyone? Get in the cell. Do it now. For how long? Get in the cell. For how long? You can be up here for six hours. I don't know how many more times I could answer that question for you. You don't have any answer for me. Six hours. Get in the cell. Fuck you. Yeah, I know.
After a few hours, Marie was taken out of the cell to complete some additional paperwork. We'll see how things unfold for her from here. This piece of paper is your right to a hearing because you provided a breath sample. You have the right to have a telephonic hearing about the potential upcoming suspension of your license. If you would like to do that, you need to send in a check for $375 within seven days from today to this address here, Department of Licensing. If you don't send it in, they just assume you don't want that hearing. Okay, so that piece of paper. You don't have to sign anything. This piece of paper is your criminal citation. So it has your information, your vehicle's information, and what you're being charged with driving under the influence. This piece of paper is called your conditions of release. So when I release you here, this is what you have to follow. So anytime someone's arrested for DUI, they have to be in court the next court day. It's not your trial or anything, but it's an initial appearance. They'll tell you what you're being charged with. They'll give you information. You have to be there. If you don't show up, there's a warrant for your arrest. So it's today, the 15th, the at 1 p.m. I have p.m. to be there today? Wait, yep. What? That's not, I have class today. No, you have court today. What? In, what? Here? So, listen. Today, 1 p.m., Colfax, Washington. That's fucking bullshit. I have class today. I have important no, meetings today. No, it's not like bullshit. You committed a crime. You need to be in court. Are you going to show up for court? If you say no, I book you into jail. Yeah, I'm going to go to court. Excellent. That's Fuck the right crime. choice. Yeah. You understand where you have to be and what time? If you don't, then we'll just go to your class or your house and arrest you and then take you to jail. Come stand with your back up against this blue screen here. We're going to do your photograph. Mm -hmm. i got to say, you got probably one of the most disrespectful people I've arrested in a long time. Thank you. It's not going to get you very far in life. Look straight ahead. Leave your body still, but turn your head all the way to the right. Grab a piece of that paper towel, wipe off the excess oils from your fingertips. There's a waste basket behind you right by that blue screen. So if we don't get these ones good, then the rest of them suffer. It takes much longer. So we're try again. Sometimes it works if you uh, take some of the hand sanitizer, kind of rub it on your fingers, and then once it dries, it makes the fingerprints come out faster or better. Let me do the work here. Otherwise, you can just go sit in the cell. We can try again this in another hour. Here you go. Excellent. Relax. I'm relaxed. First one's your fingerprint card. Goes off to the FBI. Second one is a disposition sheet. It's used by the court to track the progress of your case. Right now. You can start putting your property back on. The door without the window there, push hard on that door. Push hard on the second door, you'll be out in the lobby. Throughout the entire process, Marie continued to be belligerent toward the officer. Once all the formalities were completed, she was released with a summons to appear in court. Court records indicate that on October 12, 2023, Marie pleaded guilty to driving under the influence. She was sentenced to one day in jail. She was placed on 24 months of supervised probation and her fine was waived. However, her license was suspended for 90 days, and she had to pay a DUI cost recovery fee of $1.67. Additionally, she was required to comply with various probation terms, including attending a DUI victim impact panel within three months, and using an ignition interlock device during her license suspension. I hope you enjoyed the thrilling police body cam footage we shared today. We love hearing from you, so don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Your feedback and support mean the world to us. Remember, by subscribing, you'll never miss a moment of action-packed content. Join us on this thrilling journey as we explore the intense world of law enforcement and the pursuit of justice. Thanks again for being an incredible part of our community. Stay safe, stay engaged, and we'll catch you in the next pulse-pounding episode. Subscribe now and let the adventure continue.